All right, this is chapter one, lesson six, solving proportional relationships. So you might hear solving proportional relationships and go, oh my gosh, that's so difficult. But really there's a really cool, neat, easy trick. It's actually called multiplying the cross products, but we call it multiplying by the butterfly, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do it and then you'll be good to go. So a couple of things first, we're gonna start to the left of the butterflies. A blank is an equation stating that two ratios or rates are blank. So in those two blanks, you're going to write proportion and equivalent. So a proportion is an equation stating that two ratios or rates are equivalent. So we can see an example here. I have 6 over 8 equals 3 fourths. Okay, this is actually equal to each other. If I simplify 6 eighths, I get 3 fourths. So they're equivalent. Okay? In algebraic terms, okay, I have A over B equals C over D. B and D can't be 0 because when we divide by 0, bad things happen in math. You don't want to do that. Very, very bad. Okay? So B and D can't be 0, but they can still be proportional to each other. So on this side, the products AD and BC are called the blank blank of this proportion. In those two blanks, you're going to write cross products. So the products AD and BC are called the cross products of this proportion. The cross products of any proportion are blank. In that blank, you're going to write equal. So you can see here, I'm going to use my same example, the 6 eighths and 3 fourths, and I drew my butterfly, okay? This means I can do 8 times 3 and 6 times 4. They should be equal to each other. If they're not equal to each other, they're not a proportional relationship, okay? All right, so I have an example here. If the ratio of type O to non-type O donors at a blood drive was 37 to 43, how many donors would be type O out of 300 donors? So the first thing that I want to do is I have my type O donors, which is 37, and it's out of 300 donors, which is my total number of donors. So I need to add 37 plus 43, because that's the ratio I was given. When I add them together, I get 80. So I have 37 over 80. Now I can write a proportion. I let T represent the number of type O donors. So I can write my proportion, 37 over 80, which is the ratio I came up with, equals T, because that's what I'm asked for, the type, the number of donors that are type O, out of the total number of donors, 300. Notice that I have type O over total, type O over total. If you need to set your proportions up that way, do so. Okay, it's really important that you have whatever it is on the top and the bottom, they have to be the same. So it has to be, if you have type O donors on the top, it needs to be type O donors on the top of the other side of your equation as well. Otherwise, it won't end up being a proportional relationship. Okay? Now I can multiply by the butterfly. Okay? So this tells me I need to multiply 37 times 300, and that equals 80 times T. 37 times 300 gives me 11,100. 80 times T is 80T. Then I divide both sides by 80 because I want to get T by itself. When I do this, the 80 cancels, and I have 11,100 divided by 80 gives me 138.75. Now, you cannot have three quarters of a donor. Doesn't work, okay? Not all your proportions will end up being whole numbers. That's okay, it didn't mean that you did the problem wrong. It just means that you need to round up or round down. In this case, because we're dealing with people, you want to round up, okay? When you're dealing with buses, things along those lines, it's also important that you round up because you don't want someone being left out. So in this case, since I don't have three quarters of a person, I need to round up. So there would be about 139 type O donors, okay? So there are a couple of try problems out below. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you're done, we'll go over the answers together. 
All right, now that you've had a chance to try out the try problems, let's go over the answers together. So the first one I have is this one right here. The ratio of seventh grade to eighth grade students in a soccer league is 17 to 23. If there are 200 students in all, how many are in the seventh grade? So I want to go ahead and set up my proportion, okay? First thing I want to do is 17 is represents the seventh graders. So I have seventh grade, and that's 17. And this is the total amount. Well, I have to add 17 plus 23. This equals, I'm going to let T represent my seventh graders. You don't have to use T, you can use whatever variable you would like, over 200. So again, I want to know how many seventh graders, and this is over the total. Okay. 17 plus 23 is 40. So I can go ahead and rename this as 40. Seventeen plus twenty-three equals forty. So we know. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply by the butterfly. So I have seventeen times two hundred equals forty times t. Seventeen times two hundred is thirty-four hundred equals forty t. I divide both sides by forty. T equals eighty-five. So there's 85 seventh graders. I showed all of my work. You have a page right next to this that you can do all of your work on. So if you don't want to do it in that box, you don't have to. You can actually write it out just like I did. Okay. On the other side. Notice though that I wrote everything out. All right, my second example is Olivia typed two pages in 15 minutes. Write an equation relating the number of minutes M to the number of pages P that she typed. How long will it take her to type 10 pages at this rate? So here they've given, uh, already given us our variables. They've given us M and P. Okay, so M is the minutes, P is the pages. So when we set this up, we know that we have a ratio of 2 to 15. Okay, two pages to 15 minutes. They already gave us that. So when I set this up, I have minutes M over pages P okay, equals 15 minutes, two pages. I want to know how many minutes for 10 pages. So again, this is minutes, pages. Okay. So everything is labeled. I know where everything goes. Then I can go ahead and multiply by the butterfly. So I get 15 times 10 equals 2 times M. 15 times 10 is 150 equals 2M. Divide by 2, M equals 75. So this means that in, for 10 pages, it will take me 75 minutes to type those 10 pages. And that is the end of chapter one, lesson six.